Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about fluoride. Uh, fluoride is not an essential mineral to have in your uh, diet, but it is important uh, for good health. So let's take a look at fluoride in water supplies in the United States. Um, you can see from this diagram that fluoride is in uh, large sections here in red uh, of the water supply, greater than 75% of counties uh, have fluoride in their water supplies, but there are many counties, uh, including all of California, where fluoride is only uh, in 50, uh, 50 to 74 percent of all of the uh, water supplied to customers. Uh, there are some areas as well where this is even lower and water is uh, seldom fluoridated. So why is that important? Well, fluoride has an uh, important role uh, in strengthening teeth in the form of fluoroappetite. Um, and in doing so, uh, fluoride helps to prevent dental caries. Here I have a picture of uh, healthy teeth and at the top you can see large dental caries holes um, in teeth. The majority of fluoride comes from drinking water and most bottled water lacks fluoride so you won't be getting fluoride from uh, bottled water. Uh, tea does have fluoride and fish also has fluoride. Um, it's important to avoid excessive uh, fluoride because excessive fluoride can result in development of, uh, of these pig uh, like teeth uh, missing uh, enamel. Uh, but for the most part the fluoride that you get in water will strengthen your teeth and prevent dental caries so you have these healthy strong teeth throughout your life. That's it for fluoride. Um, please make sure you get enough fluoride in your diet to prevent dental caries and see your dentist regularly. Thanks so much. Bye. This is the references and disclaimer page. Uh, the reference textbook that most of these uh, videos follow is Understanding Nutrition. Uh, by the authors Rolfs and Whitney. That's uh, I use the 15th edition uh, by Cengage Publishing. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Nutrition Fast and Fun. Uh, there's lots of great videos that you'll find there. Uh, and finally there's a medical disclaimer. You should read the medical disclaimer um, to make sure you fully understand uh, your uh, rights and responsibilities. Thank you and have a great day.